Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Farming Simulator 22 as we continue our Elm Creek start from scratch run here. And we just finished up field 72. Driving up here to field 30 now. Field 30 is actually bigger than the other two fields, but we will have both uh, cultivators here momentarily. So it'll go twice as fast. It's not a ton of money. Uh, it'll be what? 36... Seven, eight, nine, about 10,000 bucks. But it'll help for sure. Shortcut. Hey, who put that fence there? Man, I am tired. I uh, went and did some uh, some hiking today. About three, a little over three and a half miles. So not 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 a ton. Um, but, you know, pretty pretty uh, up and down terrain. So it was definitely not just like a flat, you know, walk around the neighborhood or anything like that. It was just it was very much out in some nice forested area. Uh, I think we had about I think I looked it was about eight hundred feet of overall elevation gain at some point so definitely some some uphill parts some downhill parts some up and down parts <laughs> a little bit of both uh it was pretty cool didn't see any animals uh i saw some animals i it's like a little forested park near my near my house and uh we went there with the kids one time and we weren't hiking we were just kind of hanging out and just checking out the park and then the kids were playing on like a play area where they're and we saw animals then, like a couple of them. We saw some squirrels and some birds, and I think we saw at least a deer. And I have seen foxes in that area before, like just driving around. But we didn't see anything while we were out there today, unfortunately. But it's summer, right? What are we, we're at June 21st at the time that I'm recording this. And it was like 65 degrees at four o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> it was a it was a pleasant day for a, a stroll through the woods. Let's put it that way. But I am not in shape, so Part of the reason for this kind of easy hike was to to uh, 
get me and my wife back into the swing of things because we want to work our way up to uh, climbing some of the 14ers, uh, 14,000 foot mountains here in Colorado. I say climbing, like it's not like, you know, climbing like, you know, ropes and stuff like that. It's like hiking up the 14ers. Um, and, uh, you know, those are obviously a bit more difficult, you know, not just the elevation uh, itself, but the, uh, the incline and stuff like that. And some of them are pretty precarious, but I don't want to, I'm not necessarily going to be doing the really hard ones, but there's, there's quite a few easy ones, if you can call hiking up <laughs> a mountain e easy, but, uh, easy by comparison to the others that we wanted to kind of start with at some point, but we got to build up our stamina, got to get back in shape. And, uh, part of that is just finding other more tame hikes, uh, as well as kind of getting into some, uh, some sort of a workout program or something like that. We did a hike before we actually moved to Colorado. The very first thing we did, like the first trip we ever made to Colorado was about two years ago. Uh, two years ago, this coming October, uh, we came and we went to a place called Telluride in, in Colorado. Uh, it's a pretty good ski area, but we went there just because I wanted to kind of hike around and see the, the fall colors and stuff like that. And that was our very first exposure to Colorado ever, mountains and everything. And uh, we hiked up. Uh, we hiked up to, we made it to just shy of 11,000 feet. And that hike just about killed me, I'll be honest. And I knew at that point I needed to get into better shape at some point to, if I was going to do anything else more serious than that. And that was a pretty tough hike, to be honest. Um, but, you know, a couple years have gone by since that time, and it, I haven't actually taken the time to get in shape. So I'm actually probably more out of shape now than I was at the time of that hike. Um, so I'm trying to buckle back down kind of get things going again and uh really really hoping that we can start doing some of that i'm really enjoying outdoorsy stuff it's funny because i'm sitting here i play these video games right and don't get me wrong i love video games video games are fun but now i'm starting to like want to go out and just do real stuff you know um we uh i got my my bronco so we're definitely wanting to go out and do some off-roading i'm going to go do some hiking and you know like i said eventually mountain climbing uh we're kind of getting into some uh some other outdoorsy activities i'd like to go fishing at some point but uh might wait for my my dad to come visit some at some point to do that because that's, that's something he loves to do but i uh, just really enjoying the outdoorsy stuff so it's kind of like i almost like man do i even want to i mean I, I i do like playing video games don't get me wrong i'm not going anywhere right now but the outdoorsy stuff is just much more fun in some ways than than the video games you know At least I'm, I'm having fun enjoying it right now. I don't know if I ever get into actual hunting. Um, kind of, I mean, I have no judgment on people that go hunting at all. I'm not one of those kind of people. Um, I, I probably frown upon like sport hunting a little bit. Cause I'm like, what's the point of that? You're just going to kill something for no reason. But if you're going to go hunting like deer and stuff like that, and you plan on, you know, eating the meat and, and whatever. Yeah. I have no problem with that. That's pretty, that's, I think that's, I like, I like deer meat. That's good. Um, same thing with fishing. I mean, I don't care if you go fishing, you know, uh, if you're going to, I mean, I guess the th difference with fishing, though, is, I mean, you, you're arguably damaging still to the fish, you know, putting a hook through its mouth, but at least you're, a lot of times you're just letting it back, and it's probably fine for the most part, um, whereas, you know, you can still obviously fish and eat the fish, too, so that's always good, but anyway, I don't know if I'd ever go hunting, um, just not sure, uh, my, 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 my grandfathers both went hunting, my dad went hunting, um, I like guess half the people in my family went hunting, you know, at some point in their time, their lives. In fact, I used to go to a school district when I lived in Arkansas when I was really young. It's been more years than I wish to admit now. But um, they literally had a, like, when hunting season came around, the whole school just got off for a week because they knew that all the kids were going to go out hunting with their dads anyway. So they just let everybody off for a week. Um, so I thought that was kind of funny. But... So yeah, hunting's always been like a big part of my family's life. It just never really became part of mine. 
I had a lot of asthma when I was younger, so my my grandfathers were kind of always afraid to take me out in case you know I had an episode while I was out there. Um, thankfully, that's become a lot more manageable these days. I still have to carry an inhaler from time to time, but being outdoors is not near the uh, issue that it was when I was younger. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Just taking something's life in that manner. I don't know. It's just not sure if I could do that. I'm not sure if it's something I would enjoy doing necessarily. Now, I would like to get into marksman like shooting, like going to a shooting range and, and shooting, because I think that's fun. I think the idea of just kind of doing that side of things in a sport. I mean, yeah, okay. I'm. I guess you could argue I'm killing trees because I'm shooting a piece of paper, but that's about it. <laughs> like, I mean, whatever. Uh, so that's about the extent of that side of things that I'd probably go to. But. Uh, but as far as like actual hunting, I don't know. I don't know if I'm all ever, ever kind of get into that thing. Plus, my dad's kind of too old to kind of really get out there anyway. So it's probably fishing's probably the limit of our activities if we were to do stuff together. It's a lot of good hunting stuff around here in Colorado, though, to be fair. Although, uh, truth be told, I just want to go see some of the animals. Like, my idea of hunting, uh, and again, no judgment on people that actually hunt. I, I legitimately have, I, if you do that, more power to you, in my opinion. But um, in my, what I would rather do is just go out there, get me a nice long lens on my camera, and, uh, you know, my idea of, of a successful hunt would be I get a good picture of you know some cool animal out there and uh that, that would be fun for me so that's kind of what I want to do when I get out there hiking is just hopefully bring a camera along which you know it's extra weight you gotta I gotta you know take that into account but it'd be cool to kind of get out there and get some good pictures of some really cool animals that I got to see I've seen elk since I've been in Colorado I've seen lots of deer some pronghorn I saw, like I said, I seen foxes. I saw wolves, but they were at a sanctuary, so that doesn't really count. Um, I have not seen like any mountain lions or anything like that, but <laughs> I've been in some areas where you pass by the sign that says, you may not see them, but the mountain lions are watching you. So that was kind of uh, intimidating, to say the least. Um, let's get all these picked up, click, click, clicked. Uh, but I've seen black bears like on some people's doorbell cameras like literally in my neighborhood so i know there's black bears like around me i haven't seen them myself uh we don't have any grizzly bears where i live but they are probably further in northern california uh, colorado uh but that's probably a good thing because pretty sure you don't really want to see a grizzly bear because <laughs> if you could see it it's a good chance it could see you uh and that would be scary but uh one thing i would like to check off my bucket list of, of things to see would be a uh, bighorn sheep. I have not gotten to see any bighorn sheep since we've been in Colorado. And I think that would be pretty cool. All right. Let's see here. What are we going to do? I'm sorry. I got distracted by my com my talking. Uh, I guess we're just going to fast forward to tomorrow and see if there's any new contracts. We're you know, doing all right, I guess. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to seven and see if maybe we can avoid the contracts slipping through our fingers as we're looking at them. Paying quite a bit of money, loan interest, stuff like that. So we gotta take that into account. There's a good cultivating one. That's actually the exact same uh, tractor as the other ones too. Oh, there's some big time harvesting ones. No, 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 stop, stop. Can I like slow down even more? No, wrong one. Oh, do I really wanna take the time for this? Oh, it's about to not be a choice. What's that? Gonna, that's two and a half hours. There's no way. No, I'm not. I'm not taking two and a half hours. No way. Even if I got all the equipment here, yeah, I'm glad these are slipping out because there's no. There's just no way. I can't do a. That's a lot of money. 
I'd have to let, I'd have to leave it running like well no I can't I was gonna say I'd have to leave it like running overnight or something but I can't do that because I have, that thing doesn't hold very much so I'd have to empty out pretty regularly that's a lot of money for two contracts and to be fair I could double up and you know might take you know I might trim it down to like two hours combined for the two of them but still that is a stupid amount of time and I don't have enough time for that tonight let me fast forward and see if anything else just pops up here in a bit I can't believe those are still slipping away at seven o'clock in the morning crazy stuff I don't know what's going on with the like I feel like my other I have another save on this Elm Creek map I mean, I feel like it has contracts every day. Like, it's like, if I don't pick, if I don't do the contract, it's still there the next day. Like, they last forever. Um, okay, there's a bunch of cultivated ones coming back up. So, I wouldn't love to get these if I can get them. Which of these is bigger? I know this one's the smallest one. I don't know. I'm tempted to just grab all three of these things and just have them. And then I might be able to pick up some more others along the way. Grab that. And I'm actually going to sit here and fast forward at least another couple ticks to see if I can get a couple more before I send them out. Oh, I needed to do the strawberries. Well, I'll get these guys started and I'll come back and do the strawberries here in a second. I bet they're out of water. No, they're good on water. Oh, man, those harvesting contracts are ridiculous. A couple plowing ones, but... None of those plows are any good. Fertilizing, not bad. Oh, man. That's a lot of money. Not to mention the money you get from the... Well, that's actually counting the money you get from the potatoes, too, I think. Doesn't look like we're going to get another one. So we'll stop here at 1400 I think. Oh, there's one. Fine, we'll go. I meant 14, I meant 4 o'clock. I just realized at 1600. I know how to do military time. Alright. We'll take what we can get and we'll go with that. So, looks like that is everything. Nothing else changed. Okay. Let's see here. I think that red one is... It's bigger, isn't it? Yeah. Not by a lot, I don't think, but it is. it does look like it's bigger. Alright, where do we want to send you? Let's see here. We got... 27. 31 is close by. 39, 58, 62 are... Pretty good. We can do 27, 31 kind of around the same time. I'm going to send you down to probably the far. Just let you start traveling. Guess we'll just put you on this road. Let you go however you want to go. Send you down to uh, 73. Guess I'll have you start on 31 over here. Or 39, which one is it? Uh, actually, they're both pretty big. I guess we'll start on 31 and our work our way around.
Wow, that's a fast tractor. This one? Yes. Is there an angle? There is. So I probably want to start on the far side. All right, got those rolling. Um, anything else we can do while we're waiting on those? Oh, we can get our strawberries rolling or taken care of. I made some fertilizing contracts. They're not terrible. I could like grab one of these and fill up some solid fertilizer. Um, just having them running around taking care of those. Again, I don't want to do the plowing ones because none of those plows are, well, that plow's pretty good, but I don't want that one plow going around doing everything. Yeah, why not? We'll just do these real quick. Will not take long. I was going to say, I think I have some solid fertilizer sitting over there. Probably will need more. Go ahead and fill you up, because obviously we get reimbursed if we don't use it all anyway. That's a lot to fill you up. Is 10,000 liters? So at least another 4,000 if I wanted to get it filled up. I'd rather have more than I need than not enough, so I guess we will go ahead and grab as much as we can. Should be good. Let's see. Where are we going first? Uh, 75 it looks like is one. 36 is one. And 59. 
So we'll start maybe 75, work our way around from there. All right, let's grab you real quick. Go get our strawberries loaded up. When are we selling strawberries? Ah, January. Planting barley next month. Helps if I actually pay attention where I'm going. <laughs> Instead of looking at my notebook. Probably should fill up some water too, actually, while I'm at it. Pretty good amount of bread, though. I like that it still thinks we have 20,000 liters of bread. Far enough to be able to load it just fine. Yeah, it is. Definitely think we're going to have at least two loads of strawberries this time around, though. Because I'm not going to make the same mistake we did last time where we struggled to get up there. Is that everything? I think so. All right, let's grab our water thing. How much water do we have? Very little, but we probably only need like one of each. Oh, we're full of silage, but I think that's uh, that's fine. It'll it'll make more when we get to it, but that's that's okay though. It's just it's capped out at the moment. Um, you're almost done. What am I looking for? I'm looking for you. realize we're over time all right we're going to put a cut in there when we come back we will start working on getting the water filled up and finish up some of these contracts you can stop my friend let's get you over here and we'll call it there but anyway i do appreciate you guys watching may god bless you and i hope you join me again next time thank you and goodbye i wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members thank you so much for supporting the channel